Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. And today we're going to talk about the only two plays you need, one on offense, one on defense, that you can use to beat solo challenges. Now, if you want to take on the solo challenges uh, using the depths of your playbook, go ahead, man. It makes it more interesting, more fun. But if you're a grinder and you need to get as many done as possible, then you might want to consider using these two types of plays. Now, these plays aren't always going to work, but they're going to give you uh, the highest percentage of getting your challenges done. Now, this is minus the fact if you need to do rushing yards or different things. This is pretty much like the pass, uh, a passing play and a defensive play that you can use to try to stop uh, the AI. Now, here it's on rookie, so it's 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 easier to do. I'll, I'll give you guys that. But I did do the legends already. If you come over here, I've done the legend. And if you're using like a 63, 64 overall, like I did against 81, 82 overall teams and legends, you're gonna need a plan, bro. All right, you're gonna need a plan because the AI is a lot smarter this year in Madden 19 than it was in Madden 18. Uh, smart to the point where if you give the quarterback time, he's gonna make the right read. And I've already done 38 campaigns uh, with this 10 hour trial that I have right here. So I'm gonna show you guys in real time what I'm talking about. But now before we get into it, man, drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel for more content. I'm gonna show you guys lockdown defenses, money play schemes and all that good stuff. Uh, blitzes so in this challenge right here score two TDs don't let them score nothing all right just don't let them score and I gotta score two TDs so I'm gonna show you guys the plays that I'm talking about we're gonna be in the Saints playbook and the Saints defense because that's what I'm using right now until I select my proper defense which is probably gonna be the New England Patriots defensive playbook uh, for the 3-4 odd and the 335 odd assuming they still have those because I haven't really gone too too far in depth but I will be so the name of the play we're going to talk about right here is going to be the Trey White Flex, and it's the PA Crosser. It's pretty much the only play you need in this game uh, out of the Saints playbook. I know it's in other playbooks, but right now I'm in the Saints playbook. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the B route and the cross route. He'll get behind cover four defense, I guess, until they patch it. I'm not sure, but this guy right here, he's the bread and butter, okay? He's going to be open a lot because the AI and the computer always want to come to man defense and when they do that as long as you have someone in that position i actually should put uh moss there but my jerry rice has been upgraded i've been powering him up as well as moss not a lot i think he's what a 78 right now i don't think i got him at that overall so that is the play that we're going to talk about on offense what we're using now on defense i'm going to show you guys a play that you can use on defense and what you need to do you can even use this online to a certain point until your opponent uh, knows what to do but you can use and abuse it until they know what to do and it, it'll work people used it last year these are the same things and i got the ball back all right so i guess we're not going to show defense right now we're going to go ahead and jump back on offense because i just hit stick that guy okay come back to the same play i don't i don't know if that counts as a drive now it's good to read the defense this could be cover two man uh, that guy's in the blue, so I really can't wait for him to run to the right unless that safety comes down. If he comes down, he comes down. And this is the only play you need. I'm telling you guys right now. It's been, it, it was even the play that I used last year. The same thing. This is why I'm saying it's the same thing. Uh, we just completed that challenge. That was very easy. What I'll do is I'll edit and then we'll go to another one so you guys can see just how easy I'm going to get these uh, challenges done. So on this next challenge for defense, it says dominate the Colts offense this drive by not allowing them to gain more than two yards on a single play for three plays in a row. So this one looks like it's pretty uh, uh, uh pretty straightforward, man. You can't let them gain yards. And it's pretty tricky, especially if you don't have the right defense to set us. But if you just use the play that I'm, I'm about to show you and do what I do, uh, what you're going to be running is going to be out of the double A gap and it's going to be mid blitz. A lot of people hated mid blitz last year, but it didn't really catch on for a lot of people last year because it was so easy to beat tosses and pitches would destroy double a gap it could make a return this year depending on uh people running pitch and, and and stretch and stuff like that this year so do not allow more than two yards on any play three plays that's easy no big deal but we're gonna come to double a gap and the reason i'm showing you guys is because it worked last year and it's working the same way this year it's gonna be mid blitz so what I do is I eye the person that's guarding the running back, which is going to be this guy, which is going to be Taylor, and I come down to the line, okay? Now, you still have to watch the running back. You can't just let him do what he wants. And you're going to see that the quarterback doesn't have a lot of time uh, to make the read. So you have to stick to your assignment. Just because you're playing the running back doesn't necessarily mean uh, 
Okay, so I don't think eight yards count. So right here, it's still, t actually it's not. So what I'm gonna do when it's like this, I'm gonna come down to a lineman. I know, it sounds cheesy, but I'm coming to a lineman, just like that. And I'm gonna go in for the sack. If it's a five wide receiver set against mid blitz, I'm, I'm gonna take the lineman and I'm gonna run down toward the quarterback. That's just the way, the best way I can explain it to you guys. Now I'm gonna play the pass here, okay? And I'm gonna come back to the running back, just like this. But I'm gonna play on the side of the running back because he could run a flat route. But I gotta get to the line. I don't want to get too far. And he's in block mode, so I'm going to pick up anything I can. And just like that, the challenge is over. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to be mid blitz from the double A gap, and then it's going to be PA crosser from the trade wire flex. Those two plays, just do what I'm doing in this video, and you're going to be okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Very simple, very easy. Get your uh, solo challenges done. I haven't used it in solo battles, so I would imagine it's probably going to work against those high power teams, but I'm building up my team as much as I can through the solos I can play now before I even jump into that. Love you guys, man. Peace.